Hi paint pouring people. Today I'm going to do a reverse dip flower. And I, I want to say first of all that Fiona from Slovenia has been doing some really awesome reverse dip flowers. She's perfecting the technique and my painting today is inspired by her. I'm going to be doing this painting on a 12 by 12 canvas. I have painted the edges black because I'm going to have some black in my, in my uh, flower design. So painting the edges black is going to really look nice after the fact. And before we get started, I want to point out the two paintings in the center behind me are both reverse dip flowers that I've done recently. And so here we go. Oh, one more thing. This, this is kind of important. This is what I found to be important in a dip. Now, a dip is... When you do, when your painting does a face plant, a wet painting does a face plant, and you pull it up, and you get this neat design. A reverse dip is when you put the paint down, and then you put. In this case, I'm going to be using a wet paper towel, and then pull it up. So that's all the differences between a dip and a reverse dip. But what I find is, if you're mixing your own paint, please mix it a little heavier. It looks better. You'll get a better result with a, a heavier paint rather than a, a thinner paint. And with my happy medium paint, which I'm using today, what I did was I poured the paint into paper cups yesterday and I let it sit out overnight and it helps kind of thicken it up and it's going to work a little better for this dip technique with my paint um, sitting out. I noticed I stirred it. It's just a little thicker um, from sitting either overnight or at least a few hours. And these cups also give me a little more control than the bottles do because they're paper cups and I can pinch the front and get a nice direct pour. Okay, so here we go. First of all, I'm gonna do a wet white background. This is my white pouring paint, happy medium. And for some interest, I'm gonna use my color called Sparkly Cloud, it's a pearl. And this will show up a little better after the painting is dry. It'll just be a little more variety than if I was just using straight white. What I'm looking for here though is just an even surface. So since I just poured this, I'm gonna even it out with my finger. This white is just the backdrop. I don't want there to be too much. I can see I've got a little more than necessary, but that's what happens when you're talking and pouring. <laughs> now to help ensure a, an even surface to start with, I'm gonna swipe it with a paper towel. This is just a dry paper towel. Make sure I make contact at the top and then I drag it down. There, that evened it out. It's a nice even layer, but not too much. Okay, now I'm gonna start with my flower design. I'm gonna start out right in the middle. You can take your time with this. What I'm doing here is I'm going to sort of emulate some petals to get this flower look started. And I'm using several different blues. The colors right next to each other, but it's okay if there's some white showing. This is Bluebird. If you like these colors, I will list the colors in the description below of my the colors I'm using of Happy Medium paint. Okay, I'm gonna repeat the pink. This is Flamingo.
and I'll go through my blues again. I find that these flowers get a little bit smaller when you do this reverse dip, so I want to make sure this flower is plenty big before I do the dip. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to finish off the shape with a black outline because I like a lot of contrast and black sure does it. I'm just going to follow the outside of my last blue. Another thing I'm going to do is help these petal shapes by taking the black inside. Okay, I'm going to throw some green down here for a leaf. You, this is optional, of course. Very, very rudimentary outline of a leaf, but that's okay. Put a little black. Uh, I'm going to tinker with this after we're done, but we'll see how this looks. Just a little black line up the center. If you look at Fiona's work, she's very precise, where I like a little looser feel as far as my, the thickness of my lines and things like that. Okay, you can see how this, these colors have filled in. You still see some white in between. Now we're going for the reverse dip. I have a two sections of paper towel and I'm going to dampen it with I have a spray bottle of water. Find if you use a dry paper towel, it seems to pull up too much paint, but you can try it. I'm just making sure I have it, some dampness here. All right, that's pretty good, I think. It's thoroughly damp. I'm going to lay it down here. See, I missed on that leaf there. Maybe I'll cheat a little bit. I'm gonna have to improvise. Right here, this leaf didn't get covered because my paper towel was crooked, but that's okay. Just go like that. And I'm gonna pat it down to make sure it's making contact everywhere. There's no real timeline on this, just uh, Make contact. Now, here's the here's the the fun part. You start peeling up the corners. Ooh, one corner, the opposite corner, the other corner. Now I'm going for these next corners. Just keep folding it in, not lifting it up yet, just folding it in, because you're getting this nice pull from the paper towel pulling on the paint. Just take your time, wad it up. Pull straight up. Okay, I'm liking what I see here. I like these edges. I've got some cells around here. 
there's some loss of black right here, which is really nice because it gives you some variation. I like the variation here in the way this paint is being pulled towards the center by the paper towel. What I like to do for these leaves is I'm going to take my, this is my candy apple stick, which if you've been watching my videos for the last few years, I love using this. It's kind of a rudimentary tool. It's primitive, but I'm going to dip into my black pouring paint and just outline these leaves in a really loose way. Just a little leaf action. I'll do this one. And that is all I'm going to do to this one. So that is my version of the reverse dip flower. I hope you'll give it a try. You can see it uh, just takes a few minutes, a little bit of patience. You can be more careful, less careful. As you, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm a little bit less careful. I don't get zeroed in on super details. I like to be loose. I think that's the idea of paint pouring is not to get too zeroed in on tiny, tiny details. So this is a nice, fun flower to do. I hope you give it a try and check out my Happy Medium paint if you'd like to give it a try. It is at happymedium.fun. I also have an Amazon shopping list for all my paint pouring supplies. Join my Facebook group, Paint Pouring People, and also check out my Instagram. And like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.